It's hard not to love these long-lasting flowers. These exquisite moth orchids belong to the Phalaenopsis family and account for around 75% of all the orchids grown throughout the world. The great news is not only are they beautiful, but they are also very easy to grow and care for. A single flower will last for around three to four months and a stem can produce up to 12 flowers. When choosing a plant, I like to look for one that still has plenty of buds to open. That way I know I'll have flowers for months to come. Caring for your moth orchid is fairly simple, but there's a couple of rules to keep in mind. They love indirect bright light, so position near a north facing window is ideal. But most important is making sure we don't overwater them. It's best to wait until the potting mix, which is usually a coarse bark or a sphagnum moss, starts to dry on top. On average, they'll require a drink around every seven to 10 days. It's also important to ensure the pot has good drainage and the plant isn't sitting in a saucer of water. Excess moisture can lead to root rot and this is what we're trying to avoid. When it comes to feeding, a liquid fertiliser is best and is generally done after the plant is finished flowering. This is not the time to be thinking more is better. These are epiphytic plants that have adapted to grow in unique environments, including attaching themselves to the branches of trees. So while they still appreciate a certain amount of nutrition, it's important we don't overdo it. When they finish flowering, remove the flower stalk at the base of the plant. This will encourage a new flush of foliage together with new spikes of flowers. If you're looking for something a little special, you might like to consider delving into the world of dendrobiums. Another wonderful form of orchid, there are over 1,400 species worldwide, with more than 50 species native to Australia. In addition to these, there are also many different hybrids that have been created by crossing the original species. Henry, these orchids are absolutely magnificent. Where do they all come from? We actually import them from overseas and they go to quarantine. And actually we nurture them until they are flowering stage, they are ready for the market. After quarantine, it will be basically three months. And from that on, you will take around 12 months before they, the plants come to flowering stage. This is another easy range of orchids to grow and in fact lend themselves to being grown outdoors. However, during winter, they'll need protection from frost. Now collecting dendrobiums can be quite addictive and with so many varieties out there, be warned, it's hard to know where to stop.